1918, Germany had to uh, lose, uh, reduce its military to 100,000 men, and it had to take all of its military off the border with France. So, mm, it, even though it didn't lose any territory or get dissolved like its neighbors uh, or its comrades Austria-Hungary and uh, the Ottoman Empire did, well, they still were in severe debt. So, as Rifat mentioned, they used a handy money printer in order to fix that problem. Well, it didn't really fix that problem, because soon... But the problem is, you cannot fix inflation right. by printing money. Right. Yeah. He, uh, they, the... Ger they were stupid uh, yeah. <laughs> The incompetent <laughs> democratic German uh, government decided that they would just print all of the money, and that would work out. However, that meant that the uh, money... and it had the very German, small value. Yes. So right. w eventually, uh, if you went, uh, if you went into a store and used one U uh, American dollar, that would be the equivalent of four point three billion. <laughs> billion? No, no, not billion. I meant trillion. Really? Right, Marks. So yes. how 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 much money is that? I mean, you know, how many um how many notes mm. would that be? 4.3 trillion Reichmarks yeah. were equal to one U.S. dollar. How 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 can you count them? I mean, you know, do you have time to count them? I mean, Jesus. Uh, okay. I don't know. Oh. Ask the Venezuelans who are printing like quadrillion yeah, dollar bills. They did. They didn't get up to that stage of hyperinflation. All right. Okay. That's Germany. Well, they. C yeah, that's true. So yeah, we can't equate them. So anyway, by 1933, by 1933, many people were mad with the new system, including one certain World War One returning Hitler. soldier. Yeah. Yes. Hitler. And uh, Hitler was actually a really good public speaker. So he joined a far right party called the National Socialist Party or the National Socialist uh, Workers Party. I don't remember what it was oh. called. And quickly, uh, as he joined the Nazi party, mm -hmm. the Nazi party actually became more and more and more powerful because of him and how he spoke and how he motivated the German people. And most people... So the German people didn't know he was bad? How can, the, how can, the, how can, how can, well, how are you supposed to know you are bad before you become bad? Yeah. Uh. Well, really, the German people were in desperation. They hated the democracy that was going on right now. Oh, there was democracy at that time? Yes. In Germany? Oh. It was the before, before Hitler? Well, yeah, because... Uh, democracy means the, the, the British type democracy? Well, uh, no, uh, republic, like uh, parliamentary uh, republic. Mm, that's still a big deal. Yeah. Uh, what not Westminster type of the democracy? No, right? I don't think so. Okay. But it was still a republic. I see. So there was an electorate president, prime minister, stuff really? like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So, mm, anyway, the Germans hated the new democratic system because of how incompetent it was. So mm -hmm. they uh, didn't have anything left to turn to. They saw the communists as pretty gross. So instead, their, their only choice was to go to the far right. So, some people knew what uh, the Nazis had in hold, like uh, their anti-Semitic views, which were all around Germany uh, uh, after World War One, because the uh, Germans used Jews as a scapegoat mm. for their loss. Mm. Mm. So, uh, so... In fact, Hitler actually promised in one of his speeches, once, once I become prime minister, my first job will be to send all German Jews to the gallows. Mm, and people still voted him? Sick people. They had no... Uh, and, I mean, they were really desperate. And most of them... Guess what? It's still some Russian is still supporting Ukrainian war. Sorry to kind of... Change the subject. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't want sorry. to talk yeah, about right. that yeah. right now. Yeah. So, anyway, I mean, most of Germany was anti Semitic at that time because of what I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So, they supported his views. Mm -hmm. So, some, in fact, just went to the Nazi party blindly without any uh, idea of what it was going to hold. They just, like, shrugged and said, okay, everybody else is doing this. Guess I will just follow the norm. Mm -hmm. So, 
eventually, the Nazi Party rules to power in Germany, and uh, by making uh, Hitler the uh, prime minister, the president thought he could essentially use Hitler as a puppet to yeah. do what he uh, Who he Who was wanted. the president, by the way? I don't remember. Oh, so the, he's, he's not worth remembering. The, he's not worth remembering. Okay, <laughs> just. Found, just if you don't remember. A random, a random <laughs> idiot, right? No, uh, <laughs> okay. kind of. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm sure that guy's rolling in his grave now. What I just said, and so. While he's gonna wake up in the grave and, you know. <laughs> bang on my door. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <clears throat> Adolf Hitler eventually. You remember what happened with Alessandro Volta, right? So. <clears throat> Adolf Hitler actually, <coughs> Adolf Hitler, when he came into full power, basically. What year was it? I believe 1934. Oh, okay. So we oh. are, we are, we are, we are kind of now from 1919 to 1934. Yeah, we're starting to so walk. He was about thirty years old. Uh, I think he was forty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. So he was. <coughs> so. That means he was twenty-eight when he was fighting in the war, World War One. That's, I think so, yeah. So anyway, when he rose into power, the uh, first thing he did was not send all the Jews to the gallows, but instead he committed the Night of the Long Knives. Have you heard of that? No. Yeah, he invaded huh? Poland. Wrong. That was like five years after the Night of the Long Knives. Okay. So the, 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 the what is it? Night of the long knife. Night of the long knife. Knives. Knives. Yeah. What, what does that oh, mean? Oh, I think he probably committed genocide then. Well, kind of. He uh, essentially genocided anybody who was uh, opposition to his political oh, party. Okay. So I was, I was right. I see, I see. So he killed like everybody mm -hmm. who was in re resistance to his political party or disagreed with him on mm -hmm. the smallest things, even if cereal was a soup. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sounds a lot like. Uh, What's happening in Russia? True. So anyway, mm -hmm. uh, Adolf Hitler. Ev eventually, there was also this night in uh, Germany. I don't remember what it was called, where uh, German people paraded on the streets and started shutting down, burning, and arsoning uh, Jew uh, Jewish yeah. places of prayer. Night and Jew of burning glass. Night of the broken glass. I think. Night burning glass. glass. I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, they. I I'm believe. Sure. Okay. So anyway, mm. they believed that the Jews were the pro cause of all their problems, and that exterminating them would actually be the way to go. In fact, once Hitler's reign was over, mm, he had actually killed sixty-six percent of the world's Jews, not German Jews, the world's mm. Jews. Wow. And he planned to kill everyone, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, he he also them. planned to eventually invade their allies and suppress them as well. Really, including America, right? No. He, he even went after Einstein. No, I mean like yeah, Germany you know, planned he, to invade he, their allies, oh, like Italy and Japan. You know, Hitler even went oh, after Einstein. Oh, really? Uh, Germany planned to uh, Germany planned to invade their allies? Yes. Uh, Italy and uh, Japan? Yeah. After Jesus. they were done with World War Two, they thought that they could gain even more dominant <laughs> by betraying their allies. That's what they were. <laughs> Planet? Yes. This Secretly? Guy is crazy. Secretly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the president of Italy that time was Mussolini. No. Right? Well, not really the president, more the dictator, but right. So, I mean, it's like uh, Hitler against Mussolini. No one will win. I mean, Mussolini was like nobody compared to Hitler. True. Mussolini was it. He failed. Evil, yeah. He failed in Greece. And you think that a world conqueror can't stand up to him? Right. <laughs> he literally failed yeah. in fighting Greece. Right. What is Greece? Greece, you know. The, oh, Greece. The country. Right, right. And Greece didn't have any foreign support. It was on its own. Mm -hmm. okay. I see. Mm. I know what you're alluding to. The, I mean, the, the, the Greek was... Uh, the Greece was used to be a big power but after yeah. the Roman fall of Roman. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they weren't a power after 1453. Yeah, that's right. So anyway. Okay. <coughs> so what I... You know Hitler even came after Einstein? Really? He, he tried to kill him. Well, uh, Einstein had to hire his Son own personal of bodyguard. Son of, now, of course, he fled after. Yeah, but they did they did they allow him to flee? No, no. I mean, uh, Einstein did was scared for his life. That's no, why did, he. Did Hitler try to catch him? I I think so. If he if he caught him, he would. Have because Einstein didn't want to leave uh, Germany. Germany, of course. He in fact he was against the war. 
Of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he he was he was protesting against the war until he until knew he his knew life was his, in danger. His like, well, I mean, Hitler even not gonna even. Oh, uh, not, yeah, 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 yeah. He not gonna for the, even not for the name shake. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> but so for some reason, Hitler's doctor was Jewish. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, it's also hypothesized that Hitler's grandfather may have been Jewish. Well, that's why it's a hypothesis. True. Okay. So anyway. Mm, now, let's uh, go to when World War II really started. Now, a lot of people debate over what uh, World War II started when Japan invaded China or when Germany invaded Poland. However, mm. I'm personally going to start... Germany invaded Poland. Yeah, I'm personally going to start with the European theater. So That's when the Germany correct answer. Yeah. So before the, uh, the war, there was this policy of appeasement that the British and fr uh, French had. Yeah. So uh, France was like, shouldn't we not be giving all of this land to the Germans? Meanwhile, uh, the British were giving the uh, Germans a lot of food to eat, such as Czechoslovakia, Austria, all of the low countries, such as the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. Uh, then, um, uh, not Denmark, uh, and the no Sudan land. No, no way, Norway was after the war think. started. That was all after. Can we continue our part two tomorrow? No, no. it's fine. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. So, um, this policy of appeasement was starting to get pretty annoying. Uh, how long do you think the... the uh, 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 how long... How long... How much more do you have? Wait, should we do a part two? Yeah, because I'm... Um, All right. Um, so today we've already discussed oh, the causes and reasons behind the war. Right. So we'll see you tomorrow with the part so two. Today of world we war two. Are, today we are ending at the rise of Hitler, mm -hmm. and tomorrow we're going to discuss the, the fall, fall of the the, 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 mm. the no the World War Two. The World the War Two and the the, the Hitler, and Hitler the as the greatest murderer. Yeah. Yeah. And right. then the path to you'd be fall of Hitler, maybe. Then because World War Two is like long, years, right? it's long. long. Okay. It's yeah. not like World War One. Yeah, and World also it killed nearly nine. Sixty-five times million people. Yeah, it killed much mm -hmm. more. No, no, no. Even you can talk about one of the concentration camp for like half an hour, right? Right, right. Yeah. Germany, uh, uh, Germany alone nearly killed half as many civilians, and uh, Germany alone nearly killed twice as many civilians as were killed in World War One. Wow. Sixty-five 